At Carilion Clinic, our hospice volunteers tend to more than our patients. They also tend to garden plots at the Mountain View Community Garden in Roanoke. About three years ago, one of our former hospice social workers donated three of these community garden plots to our hospice program with the idea that we could get some of our hospice volunteers to help tend the garden and grow produce for our hospice families. Good morning, Linda, how are you? Hi. Many of our hospice patients are former gardeners themselves and have not been able to keep a garden for years. So to have a garden fresh tomato um, that's been ripened on the vine, fully organic, that, that is something really special. The vines are just covered with green tomatoes, Bill, so okay. Will should have some uh, better looking ones for you soon. Our volunteers are led by Will Childers, who has gone through the Master Gardening Program. This is going to be a pretty good harvest today. He directs us in how to tend and care for our garden. <laughs> so excited. Our volunteers are just folks from our community, some Carilion employees that just really believe in the work that our hospice program does. It has been meaningful to me because I feel like I'm giving back to the hospice patients. It's a help to them to be able to have um, vegetables delivered to them. Even though it's behind the scenes, I feel like I'm still a big part in their process with Carilion and hospice. We are all about supporting the health of the communities we serve. And in hospice, you know, we are there for our patients in that final journey. If we can bring them a little extra nutrition, a sweet memory of gardening in the past, and just to know that there are people out there that are willing to put in the time and effort, our, our wonderful volunteers, to make that happen for them. One example of the compassion our volunteers have for our patients.